guys, welcome back to another video on my channel. Today I'm going to be showing you a Valentine's nail art. Um, so I'm going to do a 3D underwear nail. So it's just a bit of fun, um, something unusual for Valentine's Day. I know it can get a bit boring with just all hearts and I love you and all of this. Um, so yeah, so if you fancy seeing how I do it, then please check it out. What I'm going to be using today is, so I've just got this red stamping polish. You can use any polish for this, um, it's just to do a bit of detail at the end. Um, I'm going to be doing it on my Miss You Beauty gel polish. This is a neon one, um, but this is just a base colour, so again, you can use any colour for that. Um, I'm going to be using, so my 4D gel. And this is in Mystical Black. And I've just got an orange wood stick. I've got my 3D sculpting brush. Again, that's a Miss You Beauty one. And then I've just got a detailer brush and a little um, dotting tool, just again to do some detail at the end. So I shall get on with it. Okay, so first of all, I'm just gonna come in with my gel base color. Um, when I'm just doing practice like this, I don't kind of do any of the prep. Um, obviously, if I was doing this on myself or a normal person, I would do the prep, kind of the cuticle work, the uh, base coat and things like that. Um, I've actually changed my mind, so I'm actually going to be using um, another Miss You Beauty polish, but it's actually Holy Girl 1 this time instead of the Neon 1, just because I think you'll be able to kind of see the design a little bit better over the top of this. So again, I'm just going to do, so I'm going to do two coats of it um, and I set this in my lamp for 30 seconds once I'm done. Okay, so I've just done two coats of my colour. Um, as you can see, just quickly before I start, actually, um, if you haven't checked out these polishes before, I definitely would. Um, the holographic ones are beautiful. I've got two of them. Um, and basically it's a bit like the holographic powder that you can get, but just kind of without the hassle. So it's a lot easier and they do different colours, which is obviously really great. But anyway, getting back to the tutorial. So now I'm going to come in with my Miss You Beauty Mystical Black 4D gel and I'm going to sculpt the bra first. Right, so I'm just going to come in with my um, orange wood stick. Now with these gels, um, a good tip is to heat them up a little bit before you use them. What I do is I've got a little radiator in my um, little salon and I just literally pop them on that for kind of like five minutes and it heats them up so you can um, kind of work with it a little bit better. Right, so I'm just gonna plop that on there. Um, and now I'm gonna come in with my little detailer brush. Another little tip is um, if you apply a bit of your cleanser kind of that you'd use for gel and stuff, it also makes it a little bit more easy to kind of move around and stops it kind of sticking to the brush as much. Okay, so once you've kind of got your basic shape and you're happy with it, um, I'm going to set in between each stage just so you don't kind of mess it up or anything as you go along. Um, and then you just literally, so I set that in my LED lamp for 30 seconds. Obviously, other lamps are going to be different, um, but then once I've done that, it's completely kind of rock solid, so that will be set. So just make sure you've got it exactly how you want it, basically. Okay, so now that's completely dry, I'm going to make the straps next. So what I do for that is, is um, I get a little bit of cleanser just on my thumb and my index finger. And I just get a little bit of the 4D gel, if I can. <laughs> and I literally kind of move it together a bit like... If you're making like um, a worm, I guess, out of playtime <laughs> or something like that when you're younger, um, just to kind of get the shape of the strap, just so it's a little bit more rounded. So then I just literally pop it on there and move it into place. And then as you can see, I've kind of got this excess bit, so I'm just going to... I can either come in with my brush or I'm just going to come in with my orange wood stick 
and just get rid of that bit. And then that bit I can actually use for the other side, but I'm going to need to um, just make it a little bit smaller because that's a little bit too big. Um, the reason I do the cleanser in my hands is because otherwise it's just way too sticky and you can't mould it very well. Um, but yeah, any of these other bits you can just clean up with your brush. Obviously make sure you do that before you set the gel. So I'm just going to do that bit again. Okay, so they are my little straps. Right, so now they are both completely set as well. I'm gonna come in and make the knickers. So for this bit again, coming in with my gel. Now I'm gonna try and kind of already make it like the knickerline shape, um, just so I don't have to spend as much time kind of sculpting it. So I'm just gonna drag that across. And then obviously we want a little triangle. And obviously play around with colors with this. You can do some really nice ones. Um, and I'm gonna add kind of detail and things at the end. I think I might need a bit more gel, but I'm just gonna come in again with my cleanser and just kind of pat it down a bit. So again, once you've kind of got the shape that you're happy with um, set in your lamp. So I'm going to set this again for 30 seconds. Okay, so now both of these are completely set. You can, of course, just leave this plain now, but if you kind of want to add a bit more detail, this is where you do it. So this is where I'm going to come in with just my normal kind of stamping polish. You can use anything like acrylic or gel if you prefer painting with gel. And I'm just going to do some little love hearts, but of course you can do some kind of like lacy designs. Um, or whatever you want really. So for this then, what I'm gonna do, let me just try to get a bit more light in there. I'm gonna show you like a quick way of doing um, some little love hearts, just cause sometimes it can be a bit of a struggle to kind of get them how you want them. So I'm coming with my dot dotting tool and I'm just gonna do them two next to each other. And one there. Uh, it's going to be a bit hard to obviously see um, that well on here, but when you do bigger love hearts, this is a really easy way to do them. And then all you have to do is you just kind of link them up to make the little love heart design. I'll put some pictures in at the end of this video so you'll be able to see it a little bit better. So that is one. So there are my little hearts. Like I said, you can't really see them that well, but I thought as it's Valentine's Day, let's do some hearts on them. Um, so now I'm just gonna wait for this to dry and then I'm gonna come in with my top coat. And then, so you can, if you wanted to leave this um, matte like it is, what you can do is underneath, um, once you've done your base color, top coat then and then just do it all on top and then you don't need to top coat this um, but I'm just gonna do it shiny anyway so then I'm gonna put the top coat on and then I'm gonna set that for 30 seconds okay so this is the finished thing like I said my love hearts aren't quite how I'd want them um, just because it's quite hard with the camera but you can do kind of the lace detail um, let me try and find my other one from earlier I've lost the other one um, but you can do some lace detail and things um, um, I will tag everything I've used in the description today um, underneath as well and I also have a 10% discount code for Miss You Beauty products which again I'm going to put in the description for you. So I hope you liked this video, um, I hope you can come up with some unusual Valentine's nail art ideas yourselves um, and let me know how you get on. 
please like and subscribe. Bye!